So, fatty liver. So, again, fatty liver, gar garlic. Garlic can help and mega dose vitamin C. Uh, the, the key there is you have to have diarrhea. So, if you're not having diarrhea while you're taking vitamin C, kulang. It's not enough. For liver problem po, ano po ang herbal? So, garlic, onion juice, yan. Garlic juice, onion juice, um, dandelion, milk thistle, bordock. So, they're very good for liver problem. For liver damage, there are, you have to identify first what is the reason. Like, uh, I have been telling people before, the more common cause of fatty liver is usually uh, food, drugs, uh, viral infection, or you can also have uh, fatty liver damage because of alcohol. Alcohol and uh, cancer. Now, if it's fatty liver, which is the first sign of damage to the liver, it is uh, reversible. So, you can still, as long as you remove the offending agent, okay? But, um, if you do not remove the offending agent, of course, it's gonna progress to hepatitis, hepatitis to cirrhosis. And, of course, if you have cirrhosis, you are 20 times 20 times more prone, 20 times more prone, 200 times more prone to developing liver cancer. That's why it's important to uh, fix okay, or to cure if you have a liver problem. Now, you can use garlic and uh, mega dose vitamin C. Also, you can use uh, dandelion, milk tea cell, yan. So, this can help you as well. Laura, ask ko lang po ba anong mabisang herbal sa may bukol sa atay or lumalaki na atay? Well, if you have a mass in the liver, um, it can be because of uh, cancer, it can be because of a cyst. If it's a cyst, uh, uh, it can be parasitic in nature. So, mm -hmm. I don't know if you're familiar with hydatid cyst or echinococcus. It's a parasitic infection. It's a tapeworm. Actually, someone asked me about that also. In It can mm -hmm. also have, you can also you have cyst. When you're a little kid. You can also have cyst in the brain. So, mm -hmm. it's echinococcus hydatid cyst. Uh, and it's, uh, it, it's very, because it's, you can get it from the poop, poop of uh, animals as well. Sheeps and dogs yeah so they are they are the intermediate host okay? so don't be playing with any so, food right? yeah so sometimes we take that okay mm -hmm. so that's why we develop also if the the liver is getting bigger probably there's an inflammation so inflammation can be viral drug induced uh it can be because of cancer it can be uh of many bacterial or amoebic okay so th these are the reasons why you can develop them and garlic garlic dandelion milk thistle silimarin di ba naririnig nyo yan so for me because they're everywhere in, here in the u.s i can see them right now you know i can you know, somehow uh, pinpoint which plant they are so you can drink that but if you don't have any access to that Megadose vitamin C can help. Okay, what is liver cirrhosis? What can I uh, recommend for liver cirrhosis? Okay, liver diseases, uh, fatty liver. Again, my favorite is garlic. Yes. Uh, in, in our country, kasi ang hirap di ba ng milk thistle. I think the milk thistle, I, I saw that plant in first time in my life here in the U.S. When I was here in the U.S. But I have never seen it when I was in Phil. Uh, I stayed there for almost my entire life. I have never seen a milk thistle in Phil. Here in the U.S., I've seen one. Okay, a couple. It, it was just so beautiful, the milk thistle. And uh, it's uh, uh, there in Phil. The best thing that you can do is just to take garlic. Okay, garlic and mega dose vitamin C. Always do the mega dosing vitamin C. Whatever your ailment is, you cannot poop, you cannot be, um, you're having a very bad day, just take mega dose vitamin C. For liver diseases, garlic. Okay, garlic for the best. Okay, garlic and as well vitamin C, mega dose. Mega dose of vitamin C. So, if I say mega doses, it's around 5 grams up until 100 grams per day. Magtatai lang ho kayo, you're just gonna have uh, um, diarrhea. So, but it's one of the best uh, vitamins that was ever created. Fatty liver. So, for fatty liver, so there are two types. You have your 
um, you have the non-alcoholic and you have the alcoholic. For the alcoholic, of course, those patients who are always drinking, so you develop fatty liver. And for the non-alcoholic, usually that's in diet. So yung mga patient natin na kain ng kain ng mga matatamis, okay, so that can cause fatty liver. Now, there's so many fatty livers right now. So some of the patient, they're asking me about it. Um, and I, I keep telling them that if you have fatty liver and if it's not addressed, you will have hepatitis and at the same time cirrhosis. So pag nagka-cirrhosis ka, you, have the ins you will have um, cancer 20 times. You know, that's your risk factor of developing uh, liver cancer. So fatty liver should always be uh, fixed. What to do with liver cancer? Okay, if you have liver cancer, the best thing is you have to eat foods that uh, high, are highly inflammatory. You can use garlic. You can use also, um, dito, sa, dito sa US, and dahil pag lumabas ka, mga dandelion, ano, and mega dose vitamin C. And then after that, you do an ultrasound after one month to see if you got better.